We're just moments away from the start of the Senate's Boeing whistleblower hearing entitled Examining Boeing's Broken Safety Culture. Let's go to Phil LeBeau. He's got more on what we can expect and what it will mean for the company. Phil. David, that gentleman sitting there in the red tie, he just grabbed some papers there. That is the whistleblower. He is the star witness, if you will. Sam Salapur, who works as a quality engineer for Boeing, he will be uh, outlining his complaints today. Uh, we'll hear from him and others, oh, starting in about 15 minutes, I believe. Let me give you a rundown of what we expect to happen during the course of this hearing, uh, which will be conducted by a Senate uh, Investigations Committee. First of all, you'll hear from the whistleblower. His warning about the stability or the safety of Boeing aircraft, specifically 787 Dreamliners. Now, yesterday he talked with Nightly News. He said, look, there are gaps in these planes. And he said there could be structural integrity questions that develop and these planes could break apart mid-flight. That's a pretty bombastic statement to make, um, given the fact that people, when you say a plane could fall out of the air, you're going to get their attention real quick. He also will be hi highlighting what he considers to be faulty protocols. Now, we should point out that two days ago, Boeing, they knew that this was coming. And this complaint had been lodged with the FAA some time ago. They did a deep dive, a technical briefing, explaining why they believe the gaps in the fuselage where they're brought together are well within conformance. And they believe that there's nothing to these allegations, that these planes are safe to fly. And by the way, this morning, we talked with Scott Kirby, CEO of United Airlines. They fly more Dreamliners than any other airline in the world. Here's what he had to say about these allegations. This is an airplane. There are thousands of these airplanes. They've been flying for decades, millions of flight hours. I am totally confident the 787 is a safe airplane. Take a look at shares of United. Separate from all of this, that stock is on a rip higher today, up almost 12 uh, percent, given uh, better than expected results yesterday. As for Boeing, it continues to languish uh, and probably will over the next couple of weeks because we're a ways from seeing some stabilization here, guys.